Hello everybody, happy Tuesday. All right, so take two, I am having loot. Um, Byron Smith on the sh not show, <laughs> on the live tonight, and he is going to talk about some of his music and life coach. Um, I am going to take a moment to share out to um, some people that asked me to make sure they see it. Um, just bear with me one moment, and we're going to wait for Luke to come on. Oh, I don't think you can share it too. The groups. Hello, Selena. Thank you for joining me again. Luke's getting ready to come on. I'm so excited to have him on here. Um, let's see. Okay. All right. If you guys can do me a favor too, if you feel led to share out the video, I'm trying to just get um other people to join in the conversation with Luke. Hello, hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'm waiting for Luke to come on. We have Luke talking tonight on All Things Possible about music, about conscience music, about how important it is to keep a song in your heart and what type of songs and lyrics you keep in your mind. You know, it's important. Hello. All right. Luke, if you see me, if you're there, go ahead and send a request. I think that is all right thank you guys for joining me I'm just waiting for Luke to jump on hello beautiful lovely day I love that song too lovely day yes oh nice one I see sing by Travis yep the songs I think that you keep in heart every morning I wake up there is some kind of song playing in my head and um I think it's important, the song that we keep in our heart. It's kind of like, it's like a silent prayer. So I'm bringing Lute on. He does conscience music. He does all different type of genres, if I'm not mistaken now. Um, the first time I heard him, I think it was on one of the groups that I'm following. And I thought, holy sh we need more music like this. So let's see if we can get, let's see if I can get him on here. There he goes. All right, just bear with me a few moments, guys. So I've opened up my platform so people could come and bring their gifts, their ideas, their projects, their um, whatever ideas that they have that they want to offer to the collective. My platform is small but intimate, and um, I've opened it up so you know you can talk about whatever you want to. So I have loot on tonight. Um, tomorrow, whilst we're waiting for loot, I'll announce that I'm going to have um, two guests. I'm going to have Colette, who does. Um, EFT, if you're not familiar with that, join us so you can find out a really awesome tool to use. And then later um, in the evening, I'm going to have Jennifer, who is the creator of a subliminal app that is amazing also for helping you manifest and create, you know, whatever you want in your life. So, all right, there goes Luke. I see him. Oh, no, what do you mean? <laughs> um, Okay, let's see. I... I Press request for you too. Hello, David. Her Just bear with me a few moments. We're trying to get him on here. Christopher Cross. I don't think I've ever heard that song. I've got to look for it. Sailing. Got to check that out. Lou, you said you sent a request. I okay, let's see if I can do it like this. Here we go. Bam. It should now hey, you go. Hello. Turn your, see if you turn your camera there turn it this go. way hey. am i on there, Hello there. Welcome. <laughs> i'm trying to figure out what's going on can you hear me though can you hear me i can hear you yeah i can hear you uh let me fix it let me see something okay uh all right everybody this is luke how you doing? Can you see me? I can see you. Can you see me? Okay. Yeah, I can see you. So I have to have my phone um, uh, right side up. I thought I could have it this way. No, Sabrina. But not that way, huh? No, not that way. That way. <laughs> okay. So I'll have to uh, 
yeah, let me try to wedge it in here now so it'll stay. Because I have a okay. I have a stand, but it's a whole uh it's for the for it to go sideways. There's all different kinds of um stands. Okay, I'll just uh keep it like this and try to hold it still. We'll we'll rock with it. Yes, thank you for coming on. I was just telling them how I found your music like a few years ago on one of the pages because we're in a lot of different groups together and like I heard the lyrics to your music and I was like oh my god the world needs some more lyrics like this and um and I keep seeing your music out there and apparently a lot of people do know who you are because I like I told you when I posted um that I was having you on one of my friends was like you know Lou and I was like I, I'm so glad to know lots more people know about your music too um one of the reasons again I said I was having you on here is that i think it's so important the song that you keep in your heart right every morning i get up there's a song playing in my head sometimes when i go to bed at night you know you're walking to the bathroom or you're walking to your car a song is playing in your mind in your heart and so the songs that we play silently are like little prayers you know so i feel like it's important to bring out the lyrics that the prayers that you want going up you know not who's got a big ass and who's got big tits <laughs> absolutely i mean those are fun you know, too those are fun too but i think yeah. it's more important you know the song that you're keeping in your heart yeah i'd be i'd be uh lying to everyone if i said i didn't start out you know listening to that or i might even catch a glimpse of of, of content like that even even now it's all over the radio but at the same time yeah. i consciously try to try to stay away from that i i'm uh a lot more conscious of what i what i uh put in my my ears and my my mind now yeah and uh yeah but i appreciate you you bringing me on your platform um i didn't even introduce myself luke i think you introduced me but my name is luke brian smith and i create uh what i have in what i have titled self-entitled uh self-empowerment music which is music with lyrical content that will help you feel positive um empowered and liberated and uh like prudence said what we listen to, the uh, what we what we absorb in our ears and the, and the things that we 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 put ourselves in front of, um, it has a lot to do with the circumstances and in, in our mindsets. What we're constantly listening to in music, especially, is a very powerful uh, energy, you know, because it taps into the emotions. And what I've uh, what I've done, you know, along along my journey is decided to make music. That that is more, uh, you know, positive and, and, and inspiring to people and in, in, in like affirmations because music music is affirmations. Oh, it's stuff so is something that you yeah, repeat over and over. Is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, affirmations are like prayers too, right? When you're trying to even switch a, a way of thinking, the affirmation that you're saying over and over, I don't necessarily see it as a it, it it's a reprogramming, retraining, but it's also a silent prayer. And like you said, you know, so yeah, affirmation are prayers too. I like that. Yes, yes. And so, you know, I didn't, I didn't always start out like that. Uh, prior to creating this, this, uh, this, this type of content, um, I was, I was creating a more a mainstream. And what you just said, you know, talking yeah. about women and and uh, yeah. substance, substance abuse, and and things of that nature. And just to, just to get clarification i'm not putting down that that kind of music or anything like that because oftentimes it comes from a place where you know people are and they got to eradicate that by putting it out there yes. but at the same time it could be damaging you know if we listening to something that is uh destructive over and over again yeah. it, it might be coming from a person that's telling a story about how they grew up uh and they just want to get it out there and it's entertaining yeah. and yeah. let's just be truthful a uh, uh, drama sells and violence yeah. and you know things the the wow factor you know yeah. it, it well, sells and it connects people other people who are going through it identifies with it and connects with them but that's the why i think time. it's important to put the conscience and the positive one out too so those people who it connects with there too that amplifies more too right absolutely yeah and as i've gotten older and just matured in my journey and just the the the, the energy what that i'm aligning to the people the situations it's just you know i've just evolved into you know an artist that that 
that wants to create content that is more um, enlightening and, and, and life affirming and, um, you know, helping people. Yeah. So basically, uh, I just, like I've said plenty of times before, you know, to other people that I feel like that I'm a conduit, you know, a lot of times the lyrics that come out, you know, I don't even know where they come from. I mean, you know, I do, but at the same time, they come out in yeah. ways, of, wow, you know, I feel like I'm a conduit of the universe. It's just speaking through me, you know, and yeah. this is what, you know, I, I, I put out. Artists, I believe artists, all forms are, it's, it's like, it, they're the vessel for the message to come through. So yeah, I agree yeah. with that. I love yeah. that. So, so you shared something with me really quick. Um, the video, the last video, is that the last video you made for your daughter? Oh yes, that, that song entitled um, Ariana. Yes. yes I, I made it for her with her in mind. When I when I heard the actual the actual instrumental to it that my producer, his name is Aristotle the Great. Uh, that's okay. what he goes by. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a, I think that's an awesome name, but he created the the instrumental for me and and it just inspired me when I listened to it. Like it's like a uh, instrumentals are like blank blank canvases you know like for an artist that paints you know yeah you know the the wherever he's painting the wall the, the the piece of paper the cathedral wherever he's painting is the blank canvas and and that's what instrumentals are to me is is a blank canvas so i listen to it and and i don't i go with the flow whatever the music is telling me to to talk about you know i i i talk about uh my main focus is, like I said, is, is, is uplifting people and things like that. But I do dabble a bit in, in different genres. Like my main genre is, is hip hop, it's rap, but yeah. I, I dabble in, in, in house music, uh, reggae tone music, um, yeah. R and B. I've heard of and, yeah. and different subject matter too, to attract some of those mainstream artists. So I'll, I'll dabble with a little bit in that subject matter to, you know, sort of pull them over into yes. it without getting too deep into, you know, the mainstream music, but I'll dabble in it a little bit, say, hey, come over here and listen to what okay. I'm doing. Yeah. But I do um, try to keep it, you know, positive and uh, no profanities and things like that, you know, yeah. so that anybody can listen to it. You know, somebody, anybody that, that know. wants to listen to my music, they could just, you know, play it for the kids without... Anywhere. Yeah, yeah, anyway. Or it I, can be I, I was thinking anywhere. about that the other day. Like, I went into the car and my daughter asked me to play a song, and the song was not a good song. And I'm listening. And I'm like, you know how? I, you know, it's almost at this place where our kids are putting on these music, and like I said, some of these music are fun, they're expressive. They're in a moment where that vibration feels for that. You know, whether it's yeah. hype up, whether it's love songs, whether it's sex songs, whatever. Um, but to all the time have that access to the radio where our 10 year olds and our 11 year olds are listening to these songs so comfortably. And again, I'm not judging because so does mine. I'm not going to lie and say like my kids aren't allowed to listen to that. They listen to it because I know at school their friends are talking about it. they're going to find a way to listen to it. But yes. what I find is that, you know, um, when I, there are certain radio stations, even like Christian radio stations I could put on and I know the music is not going to be like, oh, you know, sometimes my vibration just needs that cleanliness. <laughs> like I don't feel to it. And there are other times where I feel I need to listen to that. And I need to hear all that other stuff too, to put me into a different <laughs> mood, you know? But yeah. then I the access to have put on music wherever you are and no one is going to be, you know, the vibration feels different. I, and I do like that. Um, and I do like that when I put on your music too, my kids are jamming to it. And yet the lyrics are, again, not, not, not where I have to worry about. This is something that's going into their subconscious. You know what I mean? This is something that's peeking into their mind and they're singing and they're having fun, but that's something that's dwelling in their spirit later on too, you know? So. Yes, I, I can connect important. with you. Yeah. I can resonate with, with what you just said right there because uh, I'm, I'm learning more clearly now more than ever through the the literature and the the books that i'm reading that the things that we're putting into our mind right now they're the the manifestations of tomorrow like a lot of people think well this is how i grew up so this is how i am yeah part of that is true but 
what you are, the diet that you're feeding your mind is going to dictate your mindset. So our minds, I like to say our minds are like computers. They can be reprogrammed. They, they can be, even though, yeah. even if you had a certain mindset, you know, they say that our development years, you know, in our first, uh, what is it? Five years of life or something like yeah. that. That's where it's the strongest, where we yeah, really develop who we are. The imprint is. And then yeah, the imprint of who we are, but we still can overwrite that. Um, yeah. So if, if you purposely, consciously uh, feed certain things to your mind, you're going to have uh, different things, you know, showing up in your experience. And, yes. you know, I, I'm not just repeating what I, what I heard, but I've actually, you know, felt it, it's ha happened to me, you know, experienced it. Yeah. Experienced yeah. it. And I've known, I, I know now that even in the few years that I've been creating this, this content, this certain content of music, this more positive content, different things are, are happening, uh, more positive, more, more things that I actually desire and less, um, you know, things that I don't. Yeah. Yeah. You feel like you have a little bit more control when I think when you take at least control of, it sounds so cliche, and, but the things that you can't take control of, and those yeah. are things that you can, you know, those are things, the things that you put into your mind, the things that you put into your thoughts, because you can choose not to listen to, read, or look at certain information. So yeah, I think yeah, it's so, a way of reprogramming. Yeah, at the same time, I embrace everything. Uh, I like to say that I'm connected to everything, but attached to nothing. So I mean, I still go through adversities, and I'm able to look at it different. And with this yeah. positive information that I'm I'm constantly feeding myself, it's 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 a uh, assist helping me to to be able to deal with those things and and better yeah. than to uh focus on the problems it's a it, yeah. my mind now as soon as i go through something or something happens whether it's you know something that i'm purposely doing and a lot of times it is we just don't know it um attracting to myself i'm able to look at it and, and look at solutions and focus on a solution or find the lessons in that and that and you know through non-resistance and through uh not harping on it and dwelling in that negativity that pool of negativity i'm not saying that i don't have my down moments but i'm able to quickly get you know overcome that and then get get back to work you know get yeah. on myself yeah. and 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 rise above and and look at yeah. how how i can pull myself out of this you know, this situation or, 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 or feeling or whatever it might be. Yeah. So. I love that. And so and one of the other things I wanted to talk about too, is that you were saying that you're also coach that you do coaching. Do you have a platform that do you do coaching on? Or like when I did it, it was more of like intuitive and people would reach out to me. I didn't have like, you know, a setup where you have to book a session. It was more of a love it's you know, it's the same okay. thing right okay. now. I'm, I'm basically it's a, it's almost like a freelance thing. It's basically the same thing. I have people okay. Okay. Uh, talk to me, and I come yeah. from a place, you know, when I when I talk about coaching, it's not like I'm at this place. I'm in this space where where I'm trying to say I'm I'm up here and you're down there. Yeah, um, I'm a firm I believer. Like the, I don't like the term coaching for me. I know yes. there are people who coach because they're good at teaching, but. I, I think I'm more good at bringing stuff out. I'm not a teacher more. I like, you know, so coaching, I didn't like the term. I asked my inner guidance. I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, <laughs> that's fine. No, no, no. Guidance, you know, what, what do I call myself? Because I don't like this term coaching. And especially at the time when I was becoming aware of what I was doing, that was the name of it. And everybody was a coach. And so I was like, I don't like the name coach. What, what am I? And I felt source told me that I'm an encourager. I'm here to encourage other people to bring that out of them because we all have the answers within us, right? That's what we do. That's what I think Absolutely. coaching does is to point yourself, point the person back to themselves, their higher self. And Absolutely. so that's what I was doing. And so God said, you're an encourager. And I, was, I loved it. Yeah. So, yeah. And contrary to, contrary to what a lot of people um and, and I'm not going to name any names, but, you know, a lot of uh, uh, well-known coaches out there, I mean, I can't speak for everybody, but a lot of vibes that I've gotten from some of them is that, you know, they have it all together. And yeah. that kind of makes me feel like, okay, I'm not like you, but yeah. I, I have a firm um, 
belief that you teach best what you need to learn. So basically the type of energy I, I put out there is I let people know, yes, um, I've been through that or I'm going through that. And, and, then, and I'm sharing my information of what I'm learning from other people or yeah. experience to help you get through what you're getting through. So yeah. that's exactly and where I'm coming from. We don't want to hear not, from someone yeah. who's heard about it. We want to hear from someone who's experienced it. Experienced and, it. And sometimes you're not listening to them so that you take the same advice, but by listening to their advice, you're, something clicks within them and says, oh, I'm going to try this for me. It doesn't mean, you know what I mean? And that's why I like doing that. Well, like I said, it's not coaching, but more encouraging and bringing out of people already what them ha what they have in themselves. Because like I said, in, in just hearing, sometimes talking to someone you hear and you're like, oh shit, that's for me. And I feel yeah. that happens to them too. Yeah, so the dialogue is mostly what we have with people and just help encourage themselves. So I love that you do that. So if people want to... Um, they can reach out to you. They have a way to reach out to you. Do you have um, a site or anything on Facebook or anything like that? They can reach out. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I, I have a, you can listen, <clears throat> you can uh, check me out on YouTube. You can see a lot of my segments, my speaking segments, like what we're doing here and listen yeah. to, you know, watch my videos and listen to a lot of my music on YouTube. Just go to YouTube, Luke Brian Smith. Yeah, that's what my daughter did. Yeah, B-R-Y-L-O-O-T. B R Y O N S M I T H. Yeah, B R Y O N, not B Y R O N. <laughs> Prudence gave me a whole new name. So I guess I got two names. I'm Luke Byron Smith and Luke Brian Smith. But you know what? I had to do that to you, but you're not the only one. Uh, I have a unique spelling uh, to my name with the with yeah. the O in there. So it throws, it plays mine, it plays but tricks on people. I was people. talking to my friend Brian early and I call him Byron. And my brother, one of my brother's last name is Byron, Byron, Baron. So it was like Brian, Byron, Baron. It's all these, so I, I was just mixing up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no, it, it plays mind tricks on it. But I'm, I even go, you know, the doctor's appointments, you know, and, and, and you know, the, the well-educated doctor, you know, mix mixes up the the y and the r and and, and, and reads it like that and calls me yeah. byron so i'm used to it sometimes i correct them and sometimes i just answer to it me too with my, last name. <laughs> my daughter though when i told her i was like i'm getting ready to go on the live and she and i told her i was getting ready to talk to you and she's like let me look and see his music and she did she youtube you and found you so you can find him on youtube you can look yeah you can yeah oh excuse me go ahead no, I was just going to say, and then, and then uh, when we're finished off the lives, if you could put just a few links to your videos on here, um, on the, on the, so people can access it from there and then they can go check it out, whatever. And also yeah. your link just to your page. And well, you have, you can click on his name, um, if you want to add him to your friend group so that you can see his music more often when he posts, um, and his posts, his inspirational posts, like I do too, to help uplift your spirit. Yes. I also have a, a website as well um where you can listen to okay. uh, um when i when i put up my latest stuff you know my latest yeah. uh, music you can listen to and that's lukebryansmith.com so okay awesome. and yeah other than that yes yes i'm yeah. i'm i'm providing a, an alternative to what's out there so you can you know you got your like you said if you want to listen to your mainstream radio station have at it i'm not judging anybody but if you want to listen to some content that that um that is a little bit more uplifting and encouraging and affirmative life affirming um give me a listen yeah i i recommend it that's why he's here guys all right um if anybody has any questions we'll wait like one or two minutes if you have any questions i see people are putting because i asked the question what song do you keep in your heart is there while we're waiting if anybody has any question is there a song that you wrote yourself that you find that you sing more in your heart like your affirmation your pers personal affirmation one that you love that you wrote? There's actually a few, but uh, one that stands out to me right now is a song that I have entitled Strength. Okay. And that's just a, a, a song that basically just, just basically lets you know that no matter what you're going through, you're strong enough to get through it. And things, you can perceive things a certain way, but it will clear up. You know, it, it will if you if you hold and, and so I'm just throwing a lot of words and scenarios in there to help, 
you know, people, including myself, I listen to this myself, you know, yeah, it's like my, true. especially me, it's like my own voice in my head talking to myself saying, hey, yeah, you can do this and, yeah. you know, resilience and, and inspiration and, you know, just like taking a bath, you know, I mean, taking a shower, you have to do that every day to, to, re, to stay clean, right? Yeah. So you got to constantly feed your, yourself positive yeah. stuff to stay motivated. Yeah. It's not I like agree. you're going to listen to the, the song one time and be this super motivated yeah. person. <laughs> or it could happen, but at the same time, you got to keep mm-hmm. affirming it. Like I read every day, listen to people like you every day, you know, yeah. to, to, to keep myself, my mind clean, same. you know? Same. Same. Yeah. People always, and they always like, how do you stay? So I, I, I don't stay positive, but I work on it when I'm not, you know what I mean? Like I don't stay this way. And that's why I surround myself with people with, who listen to music and who have music like you. And a lot of the other people I have on my page, cause I have lots of coach, I have lots of teachers. And um, so we do this thing, these things to keep our vibes up. I was going to ask you, do you have a song? I feel like you do, but I might correct me if I'm wrong. A song that is just like affirmations. No. Um, oh, you mean just not even. Yeah. Like rotten, not even formatted as a song, to... just saying the affirmations. Maybe, maybe my spirit is telling you to make one. I feel that come from you. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to have to talk off of, you know, when yeah. we get off of here and you might have to be my uh, director and, and we, we might have yeah, to put yeah. something together. <laughs> I feel and that I might have to put like on there and give you credit, of course, and say Prudence, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Prudence uh, directed this, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, no, I'm serious. I'm yeah. always up for ideas. I feel A lot of- like I heard that from you. Like, that would be something maybe next or something. I thought maybe you had it already, but a song now with I- just affirmations playing. So... Because I, I sleep with a lot of subliminal messages. Yes. You know, so that would be something good to have. And it could be a soothing one or it could be an upbeat one, but a song with affirmations. I, I have created several affirmations that I've only had for myself, that I only have for myself, but with like Ooh. Indian music or something like that playing in the background, meditation music, and I'm I'm saying affirmations, and I've had oh, people I want to hear it. A glimpse of that. I that said, it, man, you got to put those out. And I go, no, these are just for me. I listen to them every day. Oh, no, you got to put that. a few of those out there for people. You know, I have some I am affirmations and just, I have, yeah. I have a lot. I but would I love listen to, to hear that. I think that's a great idea. Okay. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get some of that out there or at least send you, send you a couple and I get the, get the uh, thumbs up from you before I release it publicly. Public. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll be your, <laughs> your, your, what is it? The, um, when you bring it to edit the editor, no. Yeah, in my in my in my, in my uh, uh uh yeah I can't word yeah, slips me too but yeah you be the person that that, that tests it out for me and uh, lets yeah. me know if it's, it's a, a, it's a go. if it's a go or no keep that to yourself that's not going to inspire anybody else yeah. but you. <laughs> All right, yeah. I can't see any questions on here, but I guess like later on if we see any, I'll answer them as I go by. Do you see anything in your comments? I can't really see. Yes. On my screen, uh, I want to make sure it's not showing the same as you, but on my screen, my face is actually covered up with a bunch of comments. It's not like that on your end? I mean, it's not covered up. I can see you, but as the comments go up, it is on your face. I'm, I'm up in your... I wonder, why, is it always like that? Yeah, but they can see you. We can see your oh, face. Oh, okay. But yeah, um, <laughs> someone um, uh, by the name of Linas Lina, Journey? Yeah. They said uh, that, that uh, we showed them a different side of music. They love it. Thank you guys for hey. seeing you abundance and prosperity. I appreciate that very much. Yeah, That's listen so to awesome. a few of my songs. Yeah. Um, I hope I didn't. I, I'm not sure if I pronounced your name right. Le, what is it, Lines? Linas? That's, that's Lena. Lena, we call her. Lena. Okay, Lena. Yeah, listen to a few of my songs. Yeah. I have some, uh, you know, some really, you know, affirmation-based songs and some ones that are just like. You wouldn't even know, but they're just positive. Like I made a song, I uh, created a song. I was inspired, entitled "Smile," and it's basically saying you don't really need a reason to smile. It's just you smile just because. You smile, and that's why life is good. You don't wait till life gets good, then you smile. You smile now, life is good. You yeah, know. Yeah. 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 Love that. Life is good because you smile, not the other way around. You know. And so I have a song that's uh, talking about that, and then the latest one I just. Uh, created for my daughter entitled Ariana, 
just, just something one. special. And then um, I have another one uh, entitled uh, Love Yourself. And that just talks about loving yourself. And just because you got to start here. And from there, that's where you pour out that love. If you don't love yourself, you can't love anybody else. And for the longest time, I found out I really didn't love myself by the, by the uh, actions and the things and the attitude and the mindset that I had. Um, it all pointed to the fact that I really didn't love myself the way that I was supposed to. And when, as I start growing to love myself, I'm able to look at things a lot different and things are going differently in my life in regards to not only myself, but other people and family and just, just everything, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You can, it's by the fruit, right? I mean, even the Bible talks about you'll know by the fruit. And you can tell the difference of the life that you're living by the quality of the thoughts that you're thinking. If your words is lining up with your thoughts and your heart in the same direction. And I think yes. that's the reason why I chose to do this because that feels so much better than, you know, <clears throat> just living chaotic and not believing in anything and being hopeless. It's just, yes. it, it feels heavy. And if you're going to get to the same destination, whether you're happy or you're miserable, why the hell not choose happy? Why Absolutely. Be miserable? Choose happiness. Choose a lighthearted way. Choose joyfulness to the same damn destination. Yes. No? So. Yeah. I anyway. see Katina, Katina, Katina Love right there. She said, I've been listening to your music for a while. Hey, Very uplifting. Katina Thank you, Katina Love. I appreciate you. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate your support. I appreciate you yeah. listening to me, and, I, and I'm, I'm grateful that when when people tell me that the, when they listen to to my songs that it's that it's impacting them in a positive way, I'm I'm grateful for that. It it just so makes awesome. me feel so good, yeah. and it really doesn't matter the amount of people. Although over the years it's been so many, but yeah. it really doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. You, you know, just even one person, just I'm doing something that has you know, cause the chain reaction, a, a positive, you know, some putting something positive out there into the world, putting something that's uh, making the world, possibly making the world a better place. So, you making know, that's what my purpose is. Happier. Yeah, I love it. Yes. Yeah. I'm yeah. Le leaving a, leaving a, 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 a positive uh, thumbprint, you know, on this planet. So even when I'm long gone, you know, hopefully, the, you know, my melodies are still floating around, inspiring somewhat somebody, you know. Yeah, sir. And also, I'll share it with you, but I, uh, I'm i going to create one more song. I, I'm I'm sharing just, just with you. You're the exclusive on this and whoever okay. else is listening. Okay. But I'm going to create one more song. I, I have an idea for. I want to get that out the way. And after that, I'm going to concentrate on my book writing. I have an idea for two different books. So hopefully by the end right. of this year or sometime this year, I'll have two, two books out. One All book. Right. I'll let you in on this. One book is solely going to be affirmations that that I put together. Not saying that some of them might be what some other people said or whatever. I don't know. I didn't purposely do it that way. But, yeah. you know, affirmations, no, nobody owns them. I mean, we, if you say, I feel great today, and you put that down as an affirmation, yeah. millions of people have said, I feel great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, you know, you know what I mean? But yeah. I put them in my I own way. So. I love that. I can't wait to see that. Yeah, you let us know too when you have them so um, we can let other people know too how to find it and stuff like that once you have all that situated and taken care of. Yes. Yeah, I always okay, feel, I like you know what, I have to say this. I know this is kind of odd, but all day long I have a mask on. So I'm used to always adjusting it with my nose. So if you see me in my mouth, so if you see me doing this, it's because I'm used to it. It just bothers me, you know, it tickles my hair. I just had to say that because I'm like, because I caught myself a couple of times doing that, like, and it's like, no, I don't have on the mask, but I'm so used to it. I'll move it down with my, with my mouth, you know, from over my nose for a little bit. I'll have it on all day at work. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just now. <laughs> since, oh, do I have something on mine? Do I realize that? Yeah, yeah I know because I'm always moving mine with my mouth too. As soon as I get out, I'm like. Trying to take yeah, so then I'll, be, I'll, I'll talk to somebody like I was talking to my wife the other day. She said, why are you moving your mouth like that? And I'm like, it's, <laughs> it's from wearing that mask all the time. It's got me doing these things now. And I'm like, i got to oh, be aware of that because <laughs> people are going to think, man, that guy's crazy. <laughs> I was wondering, is there something on my face when I see you doing that? 
All right, uh, so no. that was so much fun. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to um, cut it now. Thank you so much okay. for coming on. I no, thank you very it. much. I appreciate yeah. it. I want to and share more with the world. So I'm going to put some of your links. Actually, if you could put some of your links on there too. And just like if you have your website, you put it on there, right? Because the intention is so that people who have gifts and offering things out to the collective, we can access it. And like you said, if, if you're sharing everywhere, one person, one person impacted by your music is what's important for me. You know what I mean? Like if that lifts one person's vibration today, that's, that's what we did it for. Absolutely. Thank you. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. And you guys too, thank you so much. So tomorrow, check me out in the morning. I'm going to have Colette on talking about um, emotional. Have you ever heard of EFT? Emotional no. frequency tapping where you tap in the meridian points in your body to activate those affirmations to be in your oh, okay. DNA. It's, it's really awesome. You'll get a chance. If you don't get a chance, you can look at the replay. <laughs> but, okay. Well, what, time are, what time are you coming on tomorrow? Same time on tomorrow. So in the morning, I'm doing Colette at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then in the evening time, I'm going to be doing Jennifer, who created a subliminal app that is amazing for helping create. Oh, so I know. The sub subliminal. Yeah, I, I, I know Jennifer. You know, yep. yeah, she's all over too. Yeah, so she's going to be on in the evening. And then I have um, Colette in the morning. Wow. Yeah, okay. so you guys who are looking in, and Katina, who just commented, is going to be on next week. She's a life coach as well, a health coach. She does intuitive readings and just oh, send awesome. me a link. I definitely want to yeah. check her out and support her yeah. as well. Yeah, so, so, so send me a link. Thank you. You hear that, Katina? You send me a link if Prudence forgets. Uh, send me a link to your show so I can watch it and support it. Yes, I like, Katina. I'd like to hear what you got to say. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you again for joining us on All Things Possible. You guys have a blessed night. Thank you.